Welcome to Chem 309. While our class is an in-person class, it's web enhanced. And so the purpose of this video is to show you um, the bulk of the resources that are available to you online so that you can be comfortable with them and take advantage of them. Before we switch to the internet resources, um, I wanted to show you the clicky pin. Um, during lecture, I'll use a lot of different colors, and students um, often find that it's really helpful to have a multicolored pen, so I wanted to point that out to you. Um, I also wanted to let you know that um, in the video, some of the videos have a rather low audio um, projection, and um, what we've learned over time is that earbuds or headphones can help enhance um, and increase the volume of the videos and the videos are also available closed captioned. So um, those are a couple things I wanted to point out. And now we'll um, jump into the, the survey of the resources for our course. Alrighty, so um, there are three primary resources that I wanna share with you today. Um, one is I wanna show you how um, this course uses the learning management system that's currently D2L, um, and I believe we'll be switching to Canvas. But either way, It'll be very similar. And then um, our course has an optional free online text, our Chem Wiki text. It has an agenda of all of our assignments and links to all of our video lecture outlines and videos. So that's a great resource, as well as our homework and textbook. So we'll look more closely at that. And then ultimately, um, in working with students over the years, um, there's basic knowledge that's essential to success in the course. And so I've developed a series of practice online quizzes for you so that you can um, self-assess how well you're doing at mastering this basic knowledge. All right, so now it's gonna get a little funky. We're gonna opt out of this and go to the internet. And here we'll start with our learning management system and basically, we're in, it's in, we're in class. So everything will be given to you during class. Um, but let's say you lose a handout, right? So our, our learning management system is basically a repository for handouts that are given out in class in case you lose one. Um, those of you that have opted to buy a textbook, your um, textbook homework assignments are here. Um, there'll be um, supplemental homework throughout the semester. If you happen to lose a copy, you can get a blank copy here. Um, periodically, I'll post the um, answer keys, um, the basic knowledge, different information about our binders, um, post-video practice problems. Um, different, different bits of information that are needed um, can be found here, as well as links to our, our textbook. Um, the videos with the closed caption option and links to our practice videos. So this is um, not a resource that I think you're going to go to a lot, um, but it's good to know what's here and what's available. All right, so that's pretty much it for the learning management system. And now what can we, let's go to the, the next one. Let's see what we got here. Right, so this is kind of just a review, right? Just it's, it's a resource, right, for materials that have already been distributed in class. Now let's look now our textbook, right? There's a lot of information in our textbook, right? The, the end of chapter homework with the answers, um, the agenda, whether or not you um, buy a textbook or use our free online textbook, um, the agenda section is super helpful. I wanna show that to you. And that will also include the links to our video lectures and lecture outlines. So let's go there. Okay, so now we're here. And let's go to our textbook right there. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Now we'll get to that. Okay, so when, you, when we're in our learning management system, there'll be a link directly to our textbook, right? So just like any textbook, there are the chapters to the, to the textbook, and they're right here. And um, we're gonna cover all 18 chapters this semester. We're a content-heavy course. And then here we have the homework. So, you know, when chapter one homework is due, we click right here, and then here will be the answers, or the questions to answer. And then the solutions are also available 
And so I realized that it's, it can be very tempting to just copy the answers to the homework. Um, but in, in the long term, it, it's, I don't, no one's ever passed the course doing that. So it's an option, but not a successful one. Alrighty, here is the key, the agenda. This is very useful. Um, so whether you, you know, so if you're in our, the Monday, Wednesday class or the Tuesday, Thursday, you would class, click on that. Um, don't, yeah. And then here is what's great. Right, so this tells us everything that's due on, for example, Wednesday, August 26th. And so here are the video lecture outlines. And so you have two options here. You can print these um, directly from the site, or you can go to the bookstore and buy them pre-printed, okay? And then here we have um, then I'm giving you two options. One, if you'd like to watch the videos through YouTube, you just click right here. And then there is a video playlist that's set right up for you. And all the videos for that day are just queued one right after the other to, to set up for you. So that's pretty handy. Um, if you want to take advantage of the closed caption option, then you're going to need to click on the videos one at a time. I don't have the ability to make a playlist. And then you'll go right here. And then if you click on play, you can see here would be our closed caption option. And so once I start talking, oh, English, there we go. Ah, there's the closed captioning. Okay. So there, that's how we would access our videos. Um, on the agenda, in addition to that, it will cover what's going on in lab, and then as we work our way through the course, if there are any assignments that are due, um, those will be listed for us. So the agenda section is probably the most frequently accessed part of our um, online text. So I wanted to make sure that you um, could see what's there. Alrighty. So let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation and let's see, what do we got here? Okay, as I mentioned, um, there are some course concepts they just need to be memorized and internalized so that we're able to understand the more complex topics. And so we now have these online practice quizzes so that you can um, see how well you're doing. There will also be daily there will be daily basic knowledge quizzes um, in class, so this is how you get ready. So let's go back to the internet and we'll look at those. And they're right here. So for the course, and this will, this, you know, this I know this is out of date. I'll ch update it every semester. But the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go in, and you only have to do this once. You'll need to register. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to show you that, but we'll talk about that. And then once you've registered and there's no cost to you, you can come in and there will be a series of practice quizzes. And so I want to show you how these work. Um, so you would want to click on the quiz and then you say view the lesson quiz. And then here, right, so memorizing ions is a big deal. Um, so, ammonium, I'm going to miss one on purpose, we'll say that, oh, well, and then what do we got here? So you just simply click the answers that you think are correct, and then you might think, oh, well, I've answered them all, it should know it. it's done. Well, it doesn't. You have to say, okay, I'm done, I've completed the quiz, right? It's giving you a chance to go back through your answers, and you complete the quiz, and now it lets you know what your score is, and the great thing here is, oh, right, oops, we missed one. It lets us know what the correct answer is. So um, for any kind of basic knowledge like this, if we miss one, you should already have your ion flashcards. If there's any basic knowledge you're missing, then you want to make a conscious effort to go back and review it until it is memorized. And then one of the great things about these practice quizzes is you can take them as many times as you want. So we can reset the quiz. And now notice that the questions 
are going to be in a different order and the answers are going to be in a different order and so it will feel fresh and new and there are many practice quizzes. Um, they will count for a small percentage of your class grade um, but the ultimate benefit will be on those high exam scores. All right. So let's go back to our PowerPoint and wrap everything up here. Go to the next slide. So I just really wanted to emphasize that we have a flipped format in our course, right? So um, use your agenda from our textbook and um, make sure to watch the videos and actively take notes. Um, the latest neurological research shows that it takes 80 repetitions to build a new neural channel and dendritic connections. So there's a lot of repetition in this course because we're laying the foundation for all of your future science courses and for your success in this course. When you come to class, you're going to want to bring those video lecture notes and a can-do attitude. You'll be working in groups on in-class homework packets. And then after class, you're going to want to review your notes and your, and your in-class homework packets. There's going to be more homework to do. And then there's going to be another set of videos to watch. So we're a five-unit course. Um, I guess I'll just kind of wrap up here and give you, um, we're, you know, we're a five-unit content-heavy course. But we're cramming two semesters worth of chemistry into one semester to get you moving on your academic journey that much faster. And um, I hope, encourage you to take advantage of all the resources that have been developed for you, both online and through the other um, lab and in-class activities to support your success and get you to the career you're after.